concerned with the PL-15 long-range aerial missiles, the U.S. urgently replaced the E-3 with an E-7 Wester, but it will not be until 2027 that they receive the first one. The fleet of E-3 Sentry Airborne Warning and Control System aircraft is said to be aging. Its sensors are said to be inadequate in 21st century warfare, especially against a platform like the J-20 or something similar. In addition, the E-3 is vulnerable to China's long-range PL-15 air to missiles carried by the Chengdu J-10C, Shenzhen J-16, and Chengdu J-20. PL-15 is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar seeker. It is capable of Mach 4 speed, four times the speed of sound, and has a range exceeding 200 km. Reports suggest the ANAPY-12 radar inside the E3 radar's dome offers limited detection of the hypersonic threats and those missile threats with a small radar cross-section. The destruction of this aircraft could blind American troops and complicate aircraft operations on the battlefield, and the E-7 West Terror is a worthwhile alternative. The U.S. Air Force wants to replace the E-3s with E-7 West Terror, which is a proven platform that has been chosen to equip the air forces of the UK, South Korea, Australia, and Turkey, thereby providing interoperability benefits as well. The Chinese PL-15 is an improved version of the PL-12 with curved main and tail control fins and a lower wingspan. This was done to allow the J-20 Mighty Dragon and FC-31 fighters to fit into their internal weapons base. The missile has two-way datalink, enabling dynamic retargeting in the air and is propelled by Dura Pearl's rocket model. The active seeker on the missile is an EASA aperture. This weapon may be used in the Indo-Pacific region in the case of large-scale warfare. This confirms the American fears and validates its need to upgrade the top-tier air-to-air missiles in its inventory. Even though there are no exact figures or official confirmations regarding the Chinese missiles, the U.S. acknowledges on some levels that the new PL-15s are bigger, better, and have a longer range than its predecessor, the PL-12, and hence has been earnestly preparing to match the former, if not to absolutely outpace its upgrade programs. Mm -hmm.